Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, the church today celebrates the memorial of St. Jerome, one of the great Latin church fathers. He is patron of scripture scholars, having made many commentaries on the scriptures, and at the same time authored the Latin translation of the Bible. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the priest, St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the font of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. One day when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from roaming, roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, is it for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and Touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said 
to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabaeans carried them off in array. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning have fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans form three columns, since the camels carried them off and put those tending them to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him, because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Not like ours. Ito yung naririnig kong mga salita mula sa aking mga magulang, aking lolo, lola, nung ako'y bata pa. Not like ours. Para bang ibig sabihin nila, hindi yan kagaya natin, mga nila lang na kakaiba. And they used that phrase to scare the wits out of me for going to places my parents would not want me to go. Wag kang pumunta dyan. Merong multo. Merong mumu. They are not like ours. Well, exactly it would be not like us. No? Hindi kagaya natin. And this is a version when I entered the high school seminary in our diocese. You see, when you don't want someone to join in a conversation because it may be something secret, it may be something gossipy, it may be something juicy, you don't want that person in. In the conversation, we were taught to use this signal sentence. Ay moros en la playa. O ayaw mong yung isang taong lumalapit dahil nakikisaw-saw sa usapan, sa kwento, gusto mo yung circle mo lang ang nakakaalam, ayaw mong ipaalam sa kapang lumalapit dahil gusto niyang sumali sa kwento. Then we would use that sentence. It's in Spanish, ay moros en la playa. Kung alam ninyo yung uh, salitang yon, wikang yon, maunawaan anong ibig sabihin. In yesterday's gospel, we hear our Lord replying to John. Lord, meron pong uh, mga tao, may tao na nagpapalayas ng mga demonyo sa mga kinukubabawa ng masasamang espiritu. Uh, balak naming ipahinto yung ginagawa niya, hindi sa kasama natin eh. And there our Lord replied, huwag, no? huwag niyong pigilan yung taong yon, no? Because whoever is not against us is for us. In today's version, according to the, the gospel, according to Luke, we find the Lord saying the same thing, similar way of saying it, Whoever is not against you is for you. Anong ibig sabihin? Na ang grasya ng Diyos, ang gawain ng Diyos ay naglalakit. Sinasama niya, kinakabilang, sinasangkot niya. Lahat. God's grace, God's work are inclusive. It includes, involves anyone. Yung hindi mo kalaban, kakampi mo. There is still room, not for one more. There is room for all. 
Yun ang ibig sabihin ng salitang katoliko, Catholic, kataholos. Lumalaganap sa buong mundo. It is to be inclusive, nilalakip, no? binibilang, sinasama. To extend one's arms even to those not like ours or not like us. Kaya napatunayan ito ng ating Panginoon. No? Ilang beses na nakikikain siya sa mga taong uh, inaayawan ng lipunan ng mga hudyo, mga publikano, mga maniningil ng buwis, mga tao, mga kalapati na mababa yung lipad. No? O kahit yung mga nasa, yung may kapangyarihan, mga pariseyo, mga eskriba. So our Lord was out there meeting everyone especially to the marginalized of society. And Jesus saw this, that this is where work must be done the most. He had great impact on individuals, and they did not expect him to give his time and attention to them, that he would go out of his way to even talk to them. Why is Jesus inclusive? Yun yung naririnig nating salita sa panahon ngayon. No? Yung tinatawag na inclusivity. But Jesus' inclusivity is rather different. And why is He inclusive? Simply because the good news must be preached to all peoples in all nations. Hindi po ba yun ay ang utos ng Panginoon bago siya pumanhik sa langit? Sinabihan niya yung kanyang labing isang mga apostol o oh, Humayo kayo. You go out into the whole world. You preach this good news. You see, God is like a circle where the center is nowhere. He is like a circumference where the circumference of God is everywhere. So you see, our Lord did not command His apostles to preach to the converted. Otherwise, the church would be, in the words of Pope Francis, self-referential. You don't preach to the choir. Doon sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala ng Panginoon o ng Diyos. So the gospel must literally radiate from the center to the periphery so that as it expands, it also includes. Kung lumalawa yung pananampalataya, yung simbahan, pagkakakilala ng Diyos, lahat ay binubuo na ng Diyos. No? As it expands, it also includes. So what does that mean? It means that the fullness of truth surely resides in Jesus' church. Wala nga lang tayong monopolio, monopoly niya. And neither holiness, neither goodness. They are found in others as well. The Second Vatican Council has 16 documents. And in four of those documents, you would understand. We would understand about the race, banaag, ng katotohanan, matatagpuan sa ibang mga pananampalataya, ibang mga relihiyon. Let us just listen to one document on the declaration on the relation of the church with non-Christian religions. Ang sabi doon, the church regards with reverence other religions which reflect a ray of that truth which enlightens all men, all women. Kaya napakalinaw kung ano ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Our Lord calls us to religious tolerance. Alam natin, no? May mga pagkakamali. But it is a question of respect for what others believe in. Jesus calls us to religious tolerance without compromising our faith neither changing the deposit of faith. He challenges us to integrity of life. 
And above all, He invites us to change, to have a new habit of thinking, to have a new way of doing, to be more discerning, and so acquire a change outlook in life. Ito yung ating baunin, kung tayo man ay aalis na mula sa simbahang ito, babalik tayo sa ating mga pamilya, ating tanggapan. Good people, try to change, improve others. Better people, they try to change or improve the system. But the best ones, they improve themselves. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. Our reply, Eternal Father, we trust in You. Eternal Father, we trust in You. That the Church may become a true instrument in the deepening of the faith of children. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we trust, trust in, in you. That government leaders may show deep concern for securing a better tomorrow for all children. May children be free from all forms of abuses. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we trust, trust in, in you. you that parents may teach their children proper values and provide them training and education. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we trust, trust in, in you. you, that the sick may have a childlike confidence in God the Father who cares for them. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we trust, trust in you. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we trust, trust in, you. in you. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to the little ones. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having mediate, meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so too 
You strengthen her by the example of His holy life. Teach her by His words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Jerome, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay po sa inyo. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Please kneel. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, my roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>